Orange Hat Reviews. It's come to my attention by SC Reviews on YouTube that Brie Larson fans, or the Brie Bots as we call them, are threatening fellow members of the fandom menace. So this message is going to be for you, Brie Bots. If you want to come after us, prove that you have the spine to get away or to pull yourself away from your ergonomic keyboard and out of your mama's basement and maybe run a few miles around a track too before you decide to come after us because you probably need it. Oh, also, make sure that you got your ergonomic bubble around you so you stepping out into the real world is tolerable and bring your asses up to Tupper Lake, New York 12986 Heart of the Adirondack Mountains and I guarantee you you will find one member of the fandom menace who is not afraid to throw down you want to threaten throwing acid at somebody you want to threaten throwing stones at somebody your life will be a lot more complicated because it's going to be burst or that little bubble around your sensitive feelings are going to be burst once you enter a jail cell take it from somebody who's been in jail it's not nice and that's just jail new york city or new york state jails they're not pretty but they're also a walk in the park compared to prison thankfully i didn't have to go to prison but yeah you guys and your threat or your threats are nothing but pathetic attempts to try to get us to stop doing what we like to do. What we like to do is make videos on entertainment news. If Brie Larson happens to be a hot topic, we're going to give our opinion on Brie Larson the hot topic. If the execrable Chris Evans is a hot topic, we're going to give a little bit of info our opinion on Chris Evans because he is a hot topic if you do not like our opinions there is such a thing as ignoring people it is this lovely thing you choose to say mm -hmm, whatever and move on apparently none of you got past the age of 12 mentally no wait that's too generous apparently none of you got past the age of seven mentally where oh my god he hurt my feelings <laughs> you know what facts don't care about your feelings and neither do I you want to come after us by all means do so but do not complain once when you are arrested for breaking the law you want to come after us because we have a different opinion than you well, guess what? I'm willing to take those chances. You see, unlike the rest of the fandom menace out there, I really don't have much in the way of family that's going to miss me. Maybe a couple brothers, maybe a couple aunts, and my parents, of course. But you know what? We all understand that there's risk in the real world. And we all acknowledge risk in the real world. Shit, some of us seek it. So if you really want to come after us, I'm in Tupper Lake, New York in the Adirondacks. You bring your happy asses up here. You try to attack me in any shape, way, or form. But if you bring acid, I will press charges for attempted murder. You bring stones, I'll press charges for assault. And I might be able to stretch it with a deadly weapon, depending on where you're aiming. So yeah, you all want to come up here and break the law? By all means, bring it to somebody who actually does welcome that kind of stuff. Because I guarantee you, not only will you be facing me, you'll be facing a community. We do not like troublemakers in this country or in this state in this town and just know I have the law on my side 
What do you got besides a keyboard and your feelings? That's the video. This has been Orange Hat Reviews, and bring it on, MFs. Because you love Brie Larson so much, she doesn't give a shit about you. You honestly think she cares about you? You honestly think she... Especially if you're male. You honestly think she likes guys? She hates them! Being asked to smile in an airport is living life on the defensive. One of her own tweets! So, yeah. You guys are defending a woman who would let you die in the middle of a hurricane and not give two shits about you. In fact, she would, or if she was caught in a life or death situation and she was holding one of your kids to and trying to get them away from a big bad monster or something, if it ever happened in real life, she'd probably be the sick MF that is crazy enough to throw your kid to save her own skin because she is a coward. That's the kind of person you guys are defending. She is a coward. She's lived with a silver spoon in her mouth. She lied about all sorts of stuff, including doing stunts of all things. And you guys actually defend her as if she's the second coming of Christ. Well, newsflash. She's just a pathetic celebrity that is also guilty of token racism. She's also guilty of actual racism, and she is guilty of sexism. All can be proved with those videos that have been out there. So yeah, that's the video. And that's my call out to you all. This has been Orange Hat Reviews. For the rest of you guys, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Have a good one. And I'll be waiting.